Hello there ladies and gents, Martin Pavey here. Hope that you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I've got a lovely sunset view for you this evening. But today we're going to be talking about being a little bit cheeky. But before we do that, please do like, subscribe and share to spread this very important message. Ah, <sighs> You know, that I, I wander around the village. I wander around different places and I don't, maybe it's me being paranoid, but I don't think so because once is paranoia, but twice, three, four, five, ten times is, is a pattern. And people, people often sort of look me up and down and I do walk very confidently, but one of the things that I'm really considering at the moment is this idea of belonging. And I've actually, I've lived in, in two very different settings, growing up here in the country and then being in the absolute thick of it in somewhere like, you know, in like London, which is just the polar opposite of the countryside. And I've often felt like I haven't belonged because I feel like I've done things so differently in my life, but... Uh, the quest in life really, it's, it's actually about, it's about being the person that you are and making decisions for yourself. And if you want to do something really important in life, it, it can often feel like you're a, a duck out of water, you know, and that, that you don't do things the way that other people do them, you know? And I just, the things that I used to really worry about, the things that I used to concern myself with, I'm realizing more and more that they don't matter. And what actually matters is the lessons that you can learn from the position that you're in right now. And so dress the way that you want to dress, speak the way that you want to speak, swear when people you know, aren't expecting it you know, do all of these things don't be don't constantly be boxing yourself in i watched a really fantastic podcast earlier on today and people are going down the rabbit hole and they're looking into commonly accepted ideas and you know, of, of world events and politics and people think that they have an idea what they're talking about and you can, it can be really easy to find yourself lost in all of these, you know, down all of these different rabbit holes and not actually able, and this is really the crux of the conversation between the two men that were talking. You can find yourself not being able to just enjoy the, the, the real world and be entertained and constantly having to be scrubbing things and writing things off because they're not pure or they're not you know the perfect way of of doing things and again i talk about twitter a lot oh, oh i can't, can't call it x i can't do it um you'll find yourself um listening to people talking about what their morning routines are and how they work and obviously everybody's finding their way but there are so many of these uh, these protocols that people do that that sound so extreme like one guy I just responded to a tweet um where this guy was saying <laughs> coffee in the morning plus fasting plus nicotine is <laughs> is the ultimate nootropic and I said well isn't that really <laughs> sort of jitter inducing and, and he said yes and it just I don't know, I think people are, they've watched so much Andrew Huberman, I don't know if you've heard of who he is, but he's all over the internet, you know, he's talking about doing all these jaw exercises and, uh, you know, and ice baths and fasting and don't eat carbs anymore. And I said, well, yeah, but if you go to a pub and you have fish and chips, there's, or a burger laden with onion rings and bap and butter those things are so they're so enjoyable 
<laughs> they're so they're so enjoyable to do that you don't want to to have a sterile you know boxed in limited kind of life well i i certainly don't and i doubt that any of you watching this will want that either but it's just it's so it's so funny watching all of these different fads play out it's so it's so interesting because all the people who are really out there who are doing these things what you'll often find is they'll they're they're apparent motivations you can never know but they're the ones that want to stand out from the crowd you know be the one percent the ones that do go to the gym that don't get fat um and they don't want to be part of the mainstream but within <laughs> within these communities i think you know what i'm going to say within these different behaviors you find new mainstreams emerging that everybody is doing fasting and I, I've experimented once or twice, you know, basically with finishing dinner a bit earlier, having breakfast or skipping breakfast, you know, having breakfast a lot later or having the first meal as lunch. And I'll, honestly, I'll tell you what, even the people that do it, that swear by it, said, oh yeah, it's really, really unpleasant. <laughs> so you're spending, you know, one, two, maybe three days of, of the week in in abject discomfort and I, I just I don't see the point of that I think you can actually find patterns that really work for you but don't have to be a chore because when you turn something like eating or sleeping or exercise into this really really unpleasant thing you know the essentials of life of keeping your body moving of being healthy when you make a mountain out of those as well, I don't think you leave room for all of the great things that there are in life. And uh, you know, I've I have done things differently, and a lot of people have, you know, like the way I I've dressed in the past, and uh, you know, going out to clubs and dancing and being re really out there, all these different things. I have done that. And people say, "Oh, Martin, you just have all these opinions and you just do these things to be different." Like I'm deliberately trying to be different, and maybe you'll believe me maybe you won't but that it's genuinely not the case it's i've never ever gone out there just to be different i have just done things differently um and i remember at the time of covid when i was still in london this woman said oh you always take the alternative view don't you martin um and i said no i don't actually that's wrong um i take the scientific view i do my own thinking and I think people feel very, very threatened by, by you thinking differently, behaving differently, not going with the mainstream, you know, regular way of doing things, you know, the, 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 the most, the popular way of doing things, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it, it, you've just got to find out who it is that you are and live that confidently and honestly and use that as the basis for mixing with people and I just think that's a much better way than all this kind of obsessive kind of <laughs> death by optimization sort of ways that people are living that are not they are not enjoyable we have absolutely no proof that any of them work you know and people talk about veganism people talk about fasting or intermittent fasting and all these different things and frankly nobody really knows and, and people like to think that they have all of the answers and they don't <laughs> and and you can see it with the people that really and you know fair enough I, I it sounds like i'm criticizing them i'm not but to me all the people that advocate these different you know current fads i don't see them living very joyful lives <laughs> I don't see them smiling. I don't see them springing with energy. I see them obsessing over things and not having the room actually to, to get on with enjoying life, being productive, being creative and doing things that actually really, really matter to them. So those are my thoughts for the day. So thank you for listening. Martin Pavey here. I really do appreciate all of your support, all the lovely comments and 
I've got a glut to, to, to I've got a little glut to respond to and I will do that very very soon but know that I really do appreciate all of this and I will see you on the next video. Ciao for now.